fate has smiled on these teams once, which team will catch your eye again in this second round matchup between the Oklahoma Sooners and the Washington State Cougars? It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Cougars are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, tonight like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. Number one, hey, disrupt the rhythm of their outside shooters. Don't let them just catch the ball and shoot. Get right up on them. Second, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. And lastly, it's imperative that you win the battle of the board. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Dumps it in. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He unloads a three. Scorches the net. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. You better get rid of it, Brad. That tight defense forces a five-second call. Ball coming in from the sideline. Cotton receives the pass. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They work the perimeter. The small forward receives the ball. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Shoots from outside. Tickles a twine. Looking for a good shot. Up fake. Double team now, bad angle. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Standing ovation, you've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. For the bucket. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Moving it around the perimeter. From left of the circle, Oklahoma are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. the pass. He wants a three. Way off target. The point guard handles the feed. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Transition opportunity coming up. Looking for the foul. That was absolutely phenomenal. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him and he lost possession. Work it around the arc. He's going to dump down inside. Nobody rotated down from up on top. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. They look to get it to the inside. Jumps into the defender. Ross makes the finger roll. <laughs> Trying to feed inside. Or two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Try to go inside. Goes up for two. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. on offense. 
tries for two. Great shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Got a man in high post for the bucket. And he missed. For two. Perfectly executed. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. away the pass. Look at that spacing. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Stolen ball. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Here's a double team. Tries for two. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Gave it up. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Off the rim and no good. Kept alive, offensive rebound. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. At the free throw line. It's good. Washington State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. He makes his second shot. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He's got a high post flasher. Picks off the pass. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Here they go into the break for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. In the paint. And now they'll bring it up. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby.
thinks. On the dribble, gives it up. Porter picks up the foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Here's a flash from the post up high. He lets it go way off target. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Looks at the three. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. The skip pass is picked off. Working it around the perimeter. That's a foul. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Kicks it out. Puts it up. He drains it. That's eight on the answer. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I thought doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Stolen away. The crowd loves this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for his brother. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points, they add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. It's two at the charity strike. to the action. For two, they still don't score. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. The Cougars have a special roster, which I know you're in love with. Dick. Oh, their roster is pretty special, Brad. You know why? Because of the seniors, the leaders, the dependable ones. They're so important. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. I need to see that again in slow-mo. Working around the perimeter. Gave it up. They move it into the front court. Takes the pass in the paint. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They strip them in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Washington State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. From the baseline, buried it. Uh, poor 
job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? There's a double team. Wait. Whistle blown. Basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Foul well, shot, no good. Moving it around the perimeter. He fires from long range. He gets it to go. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job by the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. High post screen. So effective that screen. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And the ball goes out of play. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. Up and inside. Fakes the shot. Nice move. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. The rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. In the paint. Cotton is animated and ready to go. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. And in and out. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That's basic. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Tries the turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He attempts a jump hook. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Here's the big man with a drop and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Perfectly executed. He up fakes. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. Up, easy one. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Going to eliminate those turnovers. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. On the outside. Intercepted. Top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Jumped in front to take it away. Goes for the steal down low and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance and he lost, baby. 
What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. On the inside for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Stolen away. Dump it inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing them to make that turn. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Washington State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Steals a pass. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They've left him completely alone. That's good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Looking for a good shot. For two, perfectly executed. Shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Nick, look at the number of points off turnover. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. He intercepts it. Saw him coming, Brad. Picked out of the air. Goes. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He makes the block. Opportunity for two for one. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post play. Gave it up. Double team now. Bad angle. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Knocks it down. There they come with a double team to stop it. From right in the circle. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. He fires up from half court. He clangs the three-point attempt. At the half, the Cougars are up by 21. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Washington State shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I'll tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? 
Thanks, Aaron. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison. Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their teams quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. I think she's right about that, Richard. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Cue the rewind button, boys. with him defensively and he's going to pick up the foul. Oh, what a terrific job exploding the basket. Poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep. They'll work it around the arc. He gives him the fake. Sets the screen for his teammate. Shot rejected. The ball goes out of play. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? For the deuce, he hits it. Looking for a good shot. From right in the circle, the Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. On the dribble, gives it up. He gets the rejection. The shooting guard with the ball. Stop and pop. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They work it around the perimeter. Three. Buried it. Harrison comes up with it. He's got hops like you, man. He got hops like you. <laughs> it is pretty similar. Ah, I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The power forward gets the pass. And Dick, this is just playing good defense and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Makes it. They're working around the perimeter. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. For the bucket, and he scores despite the hack. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. 
He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. The power forward takes the feed. Can't get the shot to drop. That spin move's not going to work against a defense uh, like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. For the bucket, they still don't score. Finger roll. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He goes for three, way off target. Takes it off him. The power forward takes the pass. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. If you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Have to make the free throw. He buries it. The center gets the ball. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. He gets that one to fall. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. In and out. For two. Easy one. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Palmer fakes the shot, tries to get the D to bite. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Turn around, jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He looks for three. Gets it to go. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. He can't miss. Finish up man's feeling it, Brad. He makes a nice shot fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. There's the fake. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Oh, easy one. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He gets another shot off and in. And this show is about to start, Brad. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. The Sooners have done a great job recruiting as of late, and as a result, they've been regulars at the NCAA tournament. Strong showing for the postseason doesn't hurt. Picks off the pass. Too physical. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat. The message from the bench, defensive stops and do it now. All right, thanks, Aaron. For the bucket, drains it. The Sooners are behind by 19. On the dribble, gives it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Fakes a jumper. The three balls had a better start flying, baby. Plus, this one's almost over. Two. Can't get the shot to drop. He puts it in with contact and all. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He shoots from downtown. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Off the rim and no good. Working it around the perimeter. In the paint, looking for contact. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. 
Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. He goes to the line for the first time. Misses the free one. Pulls it down. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. He's got an open look for the shot. High post screen, gonna use it. He takes the shot. It's no good. Dickey's gonna go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. The Cougars lead by 20. Here's a double team. And they get the turnover. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Rims out. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Gave it up. Tries a three. Off the rim and no good. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. He shows the sweet touch. <laughs> Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Rob. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. He intercepts it. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the first shot. No finish on that one. Looking for a good shot. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Nice defensive rebound. Then have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. 
Way out on top, controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Picked off. He nails the bucket. <laughs> on the inside. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. He'll visit the charity strike. No doubt about it. He fires from long range. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Steals the pass. That's basic. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure on the basketball. On the dribble, gives it up. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Tries for two. Easy one. comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Way off target. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip, going one way and you spin back the other way. Goes out of bounds. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play! for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defe Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. In the post. Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. 
The Cougars graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.